personal. It's personal between me you, and I'm going to do you some serious harm, you big stiff idiot. The Untouchable True School Sports Empire proudly presents something the boxing games were missing. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. All right, so I, I, I've been wanting to make this video for like a couple weeks now. I just haven't had a chance to get around to it because I've been running around here in Japan like that, like that guy over there. <laughs> but, um, you know, ever since when, when Javante Davis and Ryan Garcia fought back in Vegas last month, there was a lot of talk about, well, the winner of that fight is the new face of boxing. Then you had Canelo Alvarez, who just fought recently, and and people wanted to counter what, what they were promoting in the Ryan Garcia tank fight and say, well, no, Canelo is still the face of boxing. Now, I have a very interesting take when it comes to that whole debate between who is the face of boxing, who isn't, and I kind of wanted to share it and see if you guys can get where I'm coming from. Now, personally, at, at this moment in time, at this juncture in time in boxing and for the most part from for most periods in history i really don't think there is such a thing as a face of boxing there is no such thing as the face of boxing especially now in this day and age and why is that you ask because boxing right now is a more global sport than it's ever been you know it's not like 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 back in let's say the 80s Right, we'll use the 80s for an example. Boxing and the big money in boxing, and you know, being the biggest star you could possibly be in boxing, you had to come to America to do that. Now, America is still big with TV money, but like you got guys like you know Nayo Inoue and guys here in Japan who don't ever have to come to America to ever be you know something in boxing. Um, Anthony Joshua fought once in America, but he he didn't necessarily need to come to America. Coming to the USA was just something just something that um, something that was going to be on his bucket list and could help him be a bigger star but he was already a big star in his own regard right so with that being said now more than ever there's never been such a thing as a face of boxing because right i'm in japan right i'm in japan i've talked to a lot of fighters i've talked to a lot of people in japan in boxing since i've been here and there's many people in japan that could give they don't like like the, the way a lot of you guys out there that don't watch the little weight classes say oh we don't know who in no way fought we don't care about those weight classes there's people here in japan and a lot of them that could give two that could for lack of a better term could give two shits about what goes on in the usa they got their own boxing that goes on here so they don't really care as much about what goes on in the usa so what i'm saying is this canelo alvarez is you could say quote unquote the face of north american boxing because he's a big draw in mexico and usa but he ain't the biggest fighter in japan all right that's nayoa in but nayoa in ain't the draw that canelo is in the states so you know how how could you say anybody is the face of anything if they're not, if they're not the biggest worldwide? You get what I'm saying? Like Muhammad Ali, Mike Tyson, these guys you could say that were the face of boxing, because I went to the Tokyo Dome recently for a baseball game, and that's where Mike Tyson fought Buster Douglas. That's where Mike Tyson fought Tony Tubbs, and he headlined an event there and sold 50,000 50, tickets and defended his undisputed belts, and. You know he was such a star here in Japan that like when he went for do he, when he went to do his road work, there were a whole multitude of Japanese paparazzi that would follow him around when he was doing his road work. So to me, that type of stuff, that type of fame, that type of notoriety worldwide, is what is what can make a guy or a fighter the face of boxing, right? Um, Canelo Alvarez, big star, huge, but not to that degree. Nayo Inoue, huge star, big. Not to that degree. Um, in order for someone to be the face of boxing, for me, right? If, if, if there was such a thing right now in boxing, because there isn't. There is nobody in, in boxing that is that. If there was such a thing, they would have to start fighting beyond just, you know, what is it? Uh, North America, right? Because most of boxing is in North, in North America. But I feel they would have to literally, like, they would have to be a big draw in North America, be a big draw in Asia, be a big draw in like um, Europe, you know, different, con like to me, to be the face of boxing, you gotta at least be a huge star in like three continents. If, you, if, if, you're, not, if you're not taking the boxes and you haven't fought in big events in like three continents, um, and you're not a world globally known figure, then to me, you can't be the face of boxing. And I know that's a high, I know that's a high standard to set, 
but when but the term the face of boxing is a, is a high claim to give to somebody and it's not something that should just be handed out lightly because you're a fan of Canelo and you want to make him seem like he's the be he's better than a lot of other fighters so you want to claim he's the face of boxing no it's not how it works with great power comes great responsibility and we don't just hand those things out those things are earned so you can say Canelo is the face of boxing in Mexico that's cool you can even say Canelo is the face of boxing in North America that's cool but he is not the face of boxing because to be the, just the face of boxing means to be the face of boxing worldwide. The way Muhammad Ali was, the way Mike Tyson was, um, you know, the way maybe even a guy like Manny Pacquiao was. I mean, even even like a Floyd. I know Floyd only fought in the states, but Floyd's the Floyd fought guys like Ricky Hatton, who's from the Europe, like Manny Pacquiao, who's from the Philippines. He fought guys from who were already global stars from bigger continents and did record-breaking type of events with them so even him to a degree you can say is the face of boxing because he's one of them guys that where if you've watched boxing in the last 30 years you know his name so i would even say to a degree floyd you could even say floyd manny those guys you could also say had claims to be the face of boxing in a more modern sense but not canelo okay not tank all right not none of them not anthony joshua None of them guys are the face of boxing. They got more work they got to do, right? Because Anthony Joshua's a big star in England. Anthony Joshua's done pay-per-view numbers in England. He's done huge events in, in the Middle East. He's a star, a huge star. But he ain't that star in America. And my criteria is you got to be a star in three continents, a huge star in three continents. Anthony Joshua ain't like that in three continents, okay? So I'm going to leave it at that. I'm going to leave it just like that. That's that's what I think. That's my criteria. That's how I view it. I, I, I view that term as a very, very high um, title to hand out. And it's not something I just hand out to a guy I like or a guy who just sells a lot of tickets. Because there's, there's a lot of guys, right? Because if, if, if you want to keep it all the way a, a, a 100, right? A lot of the Canelo fans that want to say he's the face of boxing because he sold a lot of tickets in Mexico. Okay. Florian Marku, who, who's from Albania. Some, some of you guys probably don't even know who Florian Marku is. Florian Mark, who's an Albanian welterweight, who probably who, who will probably never be a top ten wel a welterweight in his entire career, you know, he'll be lucky if he ever gets to that level. But in Albania, he's a huge star over there. The guy can fight in a soccer stadium and put thirty to forty thousand people in there. All right, he's done it before. So could I say he's the face of boxing because he sells a lot of tickets? No, I would sound like an idiot because it's only one country. He's a big star in that country. He's got a big base in that country. But he's not a global star like that, you know. So we have to be very specific, and we. Have, I think if 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 you're calling any, anybody the face of boxing, you have to really specify what your criteria are, and be very um consistent with that. Because to, with me, right now, nobody would meet, meets my criteria for that, um, and that's just what it is. Now, Canelo, Canelo were to go fight in the Middle East or or Japan, something like that, and sell it out, then we could say he's the face of boxing. But he ain't there yet, so I'm gonna leave it at that. And the same, and that, and that, and, and I, I don't, I don't just apply that to Canelo. I apply that to Tank, who I like a lot. I apply that to Anthony Joshua, who I'm a big fan of. That's not just ex ex exclusively to Canelo. So, um, has there been a face of boxing before? Yes, but is there a face of boxing now? No, and for the most part, there really has never been a face of boxing because boxing is a very global s sport. And there is many faces of boxing, okay? There's, like, like think about the 80s, right? Think about the 80s and the 90s, some of the great fighters that, that defined that time. Evander Holyfield, Mike Tyson, Salvador Sanchez, Julio Cesar Chavez, um, Nassim Hamed. Uh, who else is there? You know, Hideki Ohashi, you know? I'll just name a Japanese fighter from in Japan. Um... There were a lot of fighters from different countries of the world that were stars in their own right, but there were just many faces of boxing. There wasn't a face. Well, no, Mike Tyson was the face of boxing. I, I, I take that back. Mike Tyson was because he he meets the he he, meet, he meets the criteria and he's a world known figure, but he's a one off. For the most part, boxing is a global sport with many faces of boxing, but not one singular faces of boxing. And not even just that. I'm gonna leave it. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna leave it on this note because this is a long winded video, but. Um, the television structure of boxing is not even the same as other sports, right? So you can't even compare it to like the NBA or soccer or, or other big sports, you know, globally. You know, like in boxing, 
it's hard for Japanese fans to watch certain American fights, and it's hard for American fans to watch certain Japanese fights and vice versa. Sometimes, depending on the country you're in, it's hard to even have accessibility to some of these fights. So because boxing television programming is so fragmented, and a lot of these fights are being put behind a paywall, how could there possibly be one face of boxing if the fights aren't as accessible as other sports? I mean, just, just you don't got to agree with what I'm saying, but just... Think about what I'm saying globally. Think about what I'm saying, you know? Anyway, that's my that's my take. Shout out to all the faces of boxing. Canelo, Inoue, Joshua, Roman Gonzalez in Nicaragua, Florian Marco in Albania, everyone, Tyson Fury, everyone who's doing their part to keep this sport that I and you love oh so dearly. Shout out to all of them because without them being stars in their respective countries and making this sport, you know, big in their countries where they're from, you know, same thing for Tank Davis, same thing for, you know, even the Spence and Crawford to a degree. Same thing for Wilder, um, Benavidez as well. Plant, you know, without these kind of fighters, boxing wouldn't exist. So I appreciate everyone from everywhere, you know, who is a face of boxing in their respective country. But the right now in boxing, there is no face of boxing globally. And I want to make that very clear. So let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Make sure you guys hit the time to subscribe. And like I say in every single Every single one of these videos, you can love me or you can hate me, but I'm just kidding from being So until next time, take care. Right. Thank you for watching another video on the Untouchable True School Sports Empire. We're here at the Hatanaka Boxing Gym in Nagoya, Japan. And uh, more great videos just like this one, make sure you guys click right here.